Why hello there! By an overwhelming vote on the polls of 80, 81% above from the Sonic reaction videos that you want me to do to the TF2 reaction videos, you guys won and we're gonna do another lazy purple reaction video. So if you guys are enjoying the lazy reaction series, uh, look at the end of the video to see the playlist and other video links. So I hope you guys enjoy and remember to see the to look at the title cards recommending you other content of TF2 reactions I have done. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a new series I'm jumping into, and you people have been demanding, asking me to react to more Lazy Purple. Of course, I'm subscribed to the guy. I love his content. Uh, how to how it feels to play heavy was amazing but there'll be a trope here in my reaction videos that i will be inserting how i play in modern warfare in comparison to what i'm gonna be doing if i ever dare play team fortress 2 so just look at that look at the modern warfare place play style and i hope that i can do it here also all right let's go with how it feels to play spy in tf2 because Heavy has been bullied by Spy so many times. Let's see how how I do stack up against this. Because I would rather play Heavy and Sniper. Let's see what happens here. Man, your intros are amazing. <gasps> it was a traitor! And that music selection, nice! Healer down! I don't condone smoking, nor the consumption of alcohol beverages. That was a recreation of a clip I hold dear to my heart. It's just one kill, but it's so clear that I fooled two people in broad daylight with my disguise. People often say that spies' disguises don't fool good players, but when they do, ooh. See, this video isn't about balance. This video is about how it feels to play Spy. <laughs> Let me say first that almost all of these clips are from oh competitive boy. lobbies with experienced players. Everyone in these clips knows how Spy works, but that doesn't stop me from fooling him. I should also say that I'm not the best Spy. Sometimes I just die? But that's not the point. <laughs> Why do people play Spy? <laughs> If you ask me, it's because you get to feel like a sneaky motherfucker. Nothing compares to the feeling of hiding in plain sight. Here, I'm pretending to be a sniper keeping an eye on the choke point. This engineer looks right at me and then proceeds to backpedal into my loving arms. Hey, we're one back to the base, partner. In this next clip, I pass up a free backstab Jeez. on the enemy sniper. The engineer and medic see that I could have killed sniper if I was a spy, which completely clears me of suspicion. I then go on to backstab the Sus. medic while he's healing me, which honestly might be one of the best yes, feelings in yes, TF2. Yes. Oh. Yeah, see, after you backstab, you tend to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dead! You First, you Run. say no. No. Then, you get out of there. But really, it's hard to articulate the excitement and mind games of escaping invisibly. There's a visceral feeling of being chased and vulnerable, which you can't really feel without playing the game. <laughs> Actually, they don't know where really you are, oh my god. goes from this menacing, ooh, when's he gonna show up, feeling to oh, this... Okay, this is fine. It's like playing Among <laughs> Us. <laughs> okay, okay, alright, let's go. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> okay, no, no, it's just... It's time to go somewhere else. Alright, okay, alright, alright. That, that, that's my time to shine. <laughs> Bang! This soldier has no idea where I went. Oh, yeah, yes. I check over there. I'm sure you'll find me. What an idiot. <laughs> Being invisible certainly doesn't make you invincible, and sometimes it requires perfect movement to get out of situations. Stab. Stab him now. Perfect. Spy is almost always just completely dead. He dodged. Found out, but there's something special Ultra about Instinct Spy! actively looking for you. Oh, run! Run! No, you. Here's a quick tip. You see this spot? There's Poor something heavy. special about this architecture. As a spy, if you can find a slightly elevated platform, hide next to it. Don't believe me? Watch these clips. All right, in this clip, it's painfully obvious that I'm a spy, but it takes this medic a second to figure it out. I try to escape, but then this guy, this guy, I'm disguised as this guy. How does he? How did he manage to get ahead of me? No matter how many times I watch it, I just can't understand how he materializes in front of me. 
but I digress. Stab. This medic starts owning me, so I make my getaway. I find my little spot, and he proceeds to check almost every inch of space around me, except where I actually am. It's almost as if there's something in his brain preventing him from checking this one little spot. This one <laughs> no. square foot of space. Still don't believe me? I get into a little trouble here, and boom. I'm gone. Never oh boy, again. you Here, feel so demo, stupid. And then I take the opportunity <laughs> to gun down the man. I believe I I'm gonna do. Dirt, but this spot just never lets me down. I but believe wait, I'm gonna make the same mistake as these guys do. Right by me, isn't it a little too convenient that he walks right outside of my hiding spot? See, I have this I don't theory the audio that if you don't have enough hours on spy architecture like this appears extended. My past video, find my voice was it. lower. All right, look. What can you do against Spy? He can kill you with one backstab, he can go invisible to get away. Is there any counter to this insta-killing, undying madman? Yeah! As long as I have my back against this here wall, you can't kill me, you snake. He's right. There is literally no way for a Spy to kill someone who has their back against a wall. Spy is just a walking gimmick. He's completely nullified by some of the- That's right, Spy can headshot people. Time for rage quit. Come here, you bitch. Stop, you bastard. I'm not done with you yet. Here. Whoa. Die! Push your luck. Characters that rely on headshots often attract players who think they're better than everyone else. And when you pick Spy, I am the spy. You're basically announcing to the entire server that you think you're smarter than everyone else. So when you combine that with the ability to headshot, you create a mass of pretension so dense that it can cause a singularity. Oh. Bazinga. Anyone who's played any kind of support class, whether it's a healer or something specialized like the spy, knows how good it feels to punish an overconfident combat class that assumes you're defenseless. The ambassador is perfect for this and can cause some really Really embarrassing. Is that the name of the revolver? No! Oh I really god! Want to revert the nerfs on this gun because it felt pretty balanced to me. No, God, please, no, no! So, the spy can backstab you. He can escape invisibly. He can headshot you. Is there any way to stop this monster? No, no. There is one way, but you might not be happy to hear it. Demo. Hey! Oh, please, just... <laughs> I am the spy. That's right. In order to balance the spy's powerful abilities, Valve programmed a never-before-seen voice chat system into Team Fortress 2. No, that's cheap! If you open voice chat and say, Ah, Heavy, there is a spy behind you, the enemy spy will mysteriously die within the next five seconds. And no one knows why. How could this happen in me? Now I know, I know. People don't communicate in pubs, but there's another trick you may have heard of. May I make a suggestion? Run. No! You! Just turn around. Good players are always looking for something to do. When they're not in combat, their priorities look something like don't get backstab, stab, shot. Murder! When the fighting starts, though, it looks okay, more let's... like shoot gun. Dodge bullets, say thanks after every kill. Thank you! And this is Spy's time to strike. <laughs> In this clip, the enemy team sent their oh, medic, heavy, and demo to take control of Bathhouse. There's no way I'd be able to take him out on my own. But my soldier, who isn't even really a threat to the enemy combo, provides the slightest distraction, which is enough for me to make a play. Spy heavily relies on his team to make distractions, making him more of a team player than most people realize. In this 6v6 match, I literally asked my team to do a fake push to make a lot of noise, which, again, proves to be just enough of a distraction for me to make something happen. But sometimes, Spy can't kill people no matter how distracted they are. He can't keep up with mobile classes. Wicked! I am such a bad class! And he has no way to close the gap. Oh, please, oh no! Medic, please! Damn you! <laughs> and because of how specific his role is, sometimes the entire fight just happens without him. So, your deadly skill is jogging? Mine is murdering people. <laughs> what? But I. I am the spy. Victory. But spy isn't about consistency. Spy is about those special 
moments. Those moments where you're breathing down the opponent's Sauce. Back, and before you even uncloak, you're imagining yourself backstabbing everyone in sight. Today I call sus. God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Funnily enough, I actually learned about that hiding spot from the legendary Stabby Stabby. I then used this knowledge against him by catching him in the same spot. <laughs> Suck on that, Stabby! Turns out that having a legendary YouTube channel with helpful advice, exciting gameplay, and good editing was a suboptimal play! There's nothing sneaky about being a great guy and sharing your knowledge with everyone! Spy is so nostalgic for me. Watching great spies like Stabby inspired me and many others Vibe to check. entire days just pubbing a spy. When I think about all the times I backstabbed someone that barely knew how to play, or all the times I truly fooled the pants off of someone, I can't help but smile. Spy is just so unique. The fact that, in a first person shooter, I can pretend to be an enemy and then this guy thinks he's found me out, but I've found out that he's found me out and he hasn't found out that I found him out and I found out by googling how to trick stab that I can just sidestep and kill him, is pretty special. And having true invisibility lets you get into all sorts of ridiculous how am I gonna get out of this one moments. Duh. And don't get me started on how important Spy is to the humor. Don't look at my direction. It's raining, man. As long as I don't move, they can't see me. I guess what I'm trying to say is that without the Spy, TF2 just wouldn't be the same. They're both. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Just wanted. All right, I'm subscribed to you and I'm liking this one too. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this and more videos about this series will be out soon, but I'm not gonna overshadow my previous videos for now. So I'll be moving a little bit slowly, at least one video per day and make sure to like, comment and subscribe you guys. Always remember to support the video in any way possible. And I hope you guys enjoy. And this is Buster here. Thank you guys so much for the help and and the views, of course. Ooh, thank you for the views. Make sure you like the video. And make sure you share this with your friends who likes reaction videos. Remember, share the love. And re and if you want more notifications, I'm gonna return my link to my Twitter for you guys to always get an update that I'm uploading a new video. So there. Always remember to read the description and listen to your <laughs> YouTuber's advice. <laughs> If it's helpful, remember, segregate everything from the good and the bad.